Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing the monthly reading for our Scorpios for the month of July 2017. Uh, so we are going to start with our theme of the month. We will then get a little bit more guidance from our angels for you and then Archangel Michael's coming in this month. So Archangel Michael had let me know before I started doing the readings that he was going to be handling the general readings this month. We don't know what kind of topic he's going to bring through for you around that. That will be a surprise, which we love. Uh, so it's very cool. And um, the last thing that um, I'm going to be sharing with you is I've got this month quick feng shui tips for balance and flow within your space. So beautiful um, energy around that. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got the four of fire coming in. Um, or I'm sorry, the four of earth, the four of earth, earth cards are all about how you make your money. Please pay attention to which angel you are drawn to. Are you drawn to the large angel or the small angel? Okay, because um, that makes a difference. So four of earth um, can have two different, it's a little bit of a duality card in that it can have two different energies. I was feeling when I drew this card that it was more about you being too cautious with your money, like trying to hang on too tightly to it which would be if you are seeing the bigger angel. If you are seeing your eye is drawn to the smaller angel, you may be too frivolous with your money, giving too much away, okay? So just pay attention to that. Um, this is about good business decisions in the month of July for you, and it's also about charity work. So it's about, you know, volunteering, giving to those less fortunate, whether that's money or time, um, or your talents or whatever that might be for you. That's going to be a theme for you in the month of July. So let's see what else we've got going for you, Scorpios. And you can see I'm in, um, I'm still in Maui, obviously. I live here now. Uh, so I, now I'm in my new permanent space, though, or my semi-permanent space, I guess, for the next many months. Um, so I have a beautiful backdrop here that you guys get to witness. You may hear birds in the background. I am outside, so there is sometimes wind or different things that happen. Sometimes there's other noises, and we just go with the flow with that. So um, it's a, quite different for me doing readings outside than in my um, basement studio that I did in Minnesota. So it's a little bit uh, different, but I really do enjoy it. I like it. I like being out in the elements. All right. Um, so we've got Six of Earth coming in for you. Um, earth cards, again, are all about how you make your money and what you need to do to be here on Earth. And the Six of Earth is um, about, you know, those gifts of time, money, effort. So it's very similar to that Four of Earth card. They're following that theme through for you. Um, there are going to be some new career opportunities for you in the month of July. So pay attention. Take those blinders off and be open to the opportunities that are coming forth for you. This also is about a balancing. So sometimes that means that you're like able to pay off some um, credit cards or maybe you get a loan for something. Um, there's kind of a balancing of money um, in, the, in this month of July. So kind of pay attention to that energy. And then we've got Queen of Air. The air cards are all about the head, about the intellect. This is a duality card. So on the one hand about a person, on the other hand about a circumstance or experience. So the queen of air herself is, you know, air people tend to be very bright, intelligent. This particular queen of air has a lot of experience. It's very objective, very funny, so that she has a great sense of humor. And this is someone that's going to be prominent in your life in the month of July, okay? Um, the other side of this is this person may help you with objective decisions. So they may help you, like, um, weigh a decision or help you make a decision this month. <clears throat> Uh, this is a continuing theme for you around clearing clutter. So you've got to clear out the things that no longer serve you. And clutter can come in many forms. It can, of course, come in form of like physical objects, right? Um, but it also can be like people um, that are just not feeling in alignment anymore. It can be about work that just isn't, um, you know, it's no longer serving you. Whatever it is that's no longer serving you, time to clean that out, clear that out in the month of July. Um, the last piece of things, because Queen of Air is, does have that great sense of humor, it is about seeing the humor in situations, okay? Um, so it really is about, um, you know, seeing the lighter side of things, which we, we always want to do that. Take the, the thing from the eyes of love, right? Oops, the one's picking up here. I gotta put something down there. All right, and then we've got Ace of Water coming in for you. Love this. 
Water is all about the depth of emotion, and Ace of Water is about falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship. Okay, so it's got that um, juicy love energy in it. Um, it can also be about um, it growing yourself, like um, a deeper spiritual growth, your intuition getting stronger, more of a love for yourself, right? That type of thing that's coming in. For some of you, it means you've got, you're going to be moving. So there's a new home that's on the horizon for you. And this is for a lot of people are feeling called, like they're feeling complete with where they're at and they're feeling called to move. Sometimes it's just across the city, might be just a different house. Other people, it's a far move, like I did from Minnesota to Maui, right? Um, can be a long distance move. If you need any support around that, I do help people when they're making big shifts. So um, please get in touch with me if that's something you feel you need support around. All right, let's see what Archangel Michael has for you. Use your imagination and you'll see the answer. So what Michael is wanting you to do is get out of your head, right? Stop looking inside the box for the answer. The answer is not there. It's in your imagination. It's out here, right? Um, one thing that came through in the last reading that I did for Libras is about... Um, this fact that the solution is always there, like energetically the solution has already, it's, the problem's already been resolved and you just need to line up with that. So I feel like that's where using your imagination, if you can do something that's creative that will get you out of your head and into your heart, that is good. Things that you can do with your hands, coloring, drawing, painting, writing, cooking, gardening, all those kind of things that you do with your hands, anything creative, right? Um, can help you get into more of that that um, creative state and oh and so funny so then he's giving us the card that I was just telling you about um, the situation is already resolved so he wants to let you know that it's already resolved and you just need to line up with the energy of the solution so you're currently in the energy of the problem you need to line up with the energy of the solution and the way that you do that is getting into a higher vibratory state. It's about um, getting your energy field clear, meditating, you know, that type of thing. Doing things that light you up, that is helpful. And then have confidence. So Archangel Michael is giving you a boost, a little shot of confidence in the month of July. And he's encouraging me to read you the prayer. So it says, Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude, right? That fortitude to keep going. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Beautiful. I love that. I love that. Um, so that's what I've got for you, Scorpios, for the month of July, 2017. Stay tuned for the next video that will immediately follow this one, which has got your quick feng shui tips for flow and balance. If you like these readings and want more, please subscribe to the channel. Please join my membership. There's deep dive readings that I do every single month. It's a very long reading. It's about usually a 35 to 45 minute reading. Um, that I do that you can get for only $5.55 or you can join the membership and get a lot more. So check out the links below for that. I also have a blog this month, a new blog this month, and it's about stairs. So it's up and down, ups and downs. It's feng shui for stairs. So if you have any stairways in your home, please also um, check out the blog, which is in uh, the comments below. Um, or not comments, but it's in the, in the it's below. <coughs> For now, relax, have fun, and enjoy your month. Much love. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your quick tip for feng shui. And this month's tip is all about balance, creating balance and flow within your environment. So feng shui is all about balancing the energy in your space, about creating an oasis, a space that raises your vibration, lifts you up. So when you come home, you have that boost of energy rather than feeling heavy, right? 
So we've talked about clutter in the past. Um, if you haven't checked that out, um, I believe that was April's reading. So you can go back and watch that one. Uh, and the clutter is a heavier energy and brings the energy down. So today we're going to talk about flow in your space and ways to bring balance, more balance to your space. So in Feng Shui, we use five elements to help bring balance. And you can see there's a lot of nature behind me. And in nature, it's just naturally balanced. There's a lot of different colors. There's a lot of different shapes, um, a lot of different elements, right? Um, we have a water element. We have metal um, that appears in, in um, the earth, right? Metals come out of the earth. We have wood, of course, in the form of trees and plants and that type of thing. We have earth, which is, you know, the ground, the actual physical earth, sand, dirt, that type of thing. And we have fire. Um, fire energy, um, you know, here in Hawaii can be volcanic, right? Uh, energy, lava flow, that type of thing, but um, that's the fire energy. So what can you do to create more balance and flow within your space? Number one, I want you to walk through your home and notice wherever you get tripped up, okay? Where is it that there's furniture in the way or things that are in the way of the flow of energy? If they're in the way when you're walking, they are in the way of the flow of energy as well. And so what I want you to do is um, rearrange the furniture in your space to create more flow so that you're not getting tripped up and the energy isn't getting tripped up as you walk through your space. The second tip I'm going to give you today is to bring more plants and flowers, and these can be real or they can be silk, bring those inside and that boosts the living energy of your space. It also brings balance. Plants are great um, energy, um, typically very much wood energy, but it's, all, it, it's just great energy to have living plants within your space and you can be very particular about um, putting specifically one in your wealth corner, for instance, to increase your abundance. Um, so that's what I've got for you for your quick tips, quick feng shui tips for this month. As a bonus, I've got a new blog that's out and it's about stairs. So if you have any stairways in your home, you're going to want to check that out. It's called Ups and Downs Feng Shui for Stairs and I'll put a, post a link below.